This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. What is up my little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of The Sims 4 Seasons. decided to enjoy the Easter festivities in Willow Creek. The original plan was actually to come here with Eden and her daughter Hope, but unfortunately Randall decided he wanted to actually take her to go see the flower bunny at the mall. So <laughs> here we are by your lonesomes. Eden could have totally came with us, but she actually went with Randall. If you ask me, I kind of think something is still happening between them, but it is none of my business. It just kind of solidifies the fact that Riley needs to burst out of her shell and meet some more friends. It's okay. I'm having fun. I promise we're going to be totally freaking fine. Although it is going to take just a little bit of convincing. However, if you guys are looking for a good place to enjoy Easter, I highly suggest that you come to the Magnolia Blossom Park in Willow Creek, even though it's raining right now, which is really unfortunate. Um, There is a ice skating, no, a roller skating rink over here, and you can do a lot of amazing fun things with this. You can skate around. You can skate around and practice tricks once you actually unlock the skill to do so. You can also even perform some skating routines, customize the rink in various ways, which we'll play with in just a moment, and then also invite other Sims to skate alongside you. So there is that. Um, and then if you go over here, there's actually this brand new little food court stall thingy-majigger that actually has cupcakes on top. And honestly, you already know, once Foreman Friday rolls around, June is going to be here eating all the freaking cupcakes. So I will show you guys what is on the menu. You can actually order drinks just like you can if you have city living and you have those kiosks. Now, I do think some of these food items are um, like, what is what is the word? Uh, proprietary to whatever expansion packs, uh, expansion packs, stuff packs, and whatever what, game packs you have installed. That's what I'm trying to say. So you may not see everything here, but I do think the Be Cool Tea is a new addition with Seasons, but there's some other options there, like the iced coffee. Then if we go over here, you can order food, which just so happens to be popcorn shrimp. There's a variety of different types of cupcakes. You can also get yourself some fish tacos and pasta primavera, which is an odd dish to serve at a food stall, but I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm just saying it's a little weird. Anyway, so those are the options that you may or may not have. And I haven't seen, you know, I haven't seen the uh, flower bunny. It's kind of, it's taken me a little, a little bit getting used to to call it a flower bunny because like by instinct, I want to call it an Easter bunny. And then Mike Questerian 74 left me so many tips, like literally the comment says tips for Jen. Um, and one of the tips was to actually change the holiday to uh, to a decoration theme of spring so that the um, surrounding neighborhoods and even community lots can actually decorate appropriately. So I did that and I noticed even uh, Magnolia Blossom has celebrated the holiday by decorating their little bathroom area, which I think is so freaking cute. I love it. Um, I am going to be honest. I'm feeling a little bored. <laughs> Riley's really just walking around with her little, uh, her little umbrella, which I think is absolutely adorable. Don't you guys love her outfit. Uh, this one person named Egg, I love his creativity, his artistry. He's just seriously one of the most talent talented people I have ever seen in my life. Like I love his art style in particular. He draws a lot of my Sims. And when he draws a Sim, it's like a, a stamp of like verification that I know that's a good Sim because he only, it's just, it just like he picks up on the Sims that are going to be popular in my LPs. And he drew Riley in her little maroon raincoat. And I seriously, it brought tears to my eyes because when he does things like that, which I don't obviously ask him to, he just does it because he wants to. It makes me feel like he's bringing them to life. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Egg. I'm actually going to credit him in the description. I want you guys to go check out his Twitter, follow him, let, let him know that Jen sent you. He is seriously so freaking talented. I do think he does take commissions. So if you guys ever want to commission him to do something for you, he actually did the Foreman artwork. He's just, he's talented. So anywho's long story short, we just found another egg. And uh, you know what? I didn't want to. I kind of wanted to do it solo dolo, but I really think it'd be fun to invite over our boyfriend, Jared. At least to go skate with us maybe to go on the swings together i don't know let's just go and invite him it's actually 2 30 p.m so we won't be here for much longer but i do want to search for some more eggs i need to 
the uh, greet the flower bunny, which I know the flower bunny comes a little bit earlier in the morning. So you may have accidentally missed that ship. And we also need to give some flowers. And Riley loves this tradition. I already told you guys that in the last episode, I believe. But I need to have her do that, too. I just don't know if I can give him flowers. I'm going to give I'm going to give my boyfriend flowers because that's cute, too. Right. Um, I don't know if I can do that because I don't have any in my inventory but I think Jared's here because it says received a gift oh my god there he is hey doll I'm just kidding like she would never call him doll <laughs> that's a gen thing oh my goodness look at that single flower that is the sweetest thing ever give you a man a kiss girl give fire him up that would be an awkward that would be an awkward interaction so yeah how about those sim hawks a sports team in case you didn't yeah you know what I mean you know what I mean let's go over here and caress the streak shriek I can't speak because I actually have a, a cold song on my tongue for flapping my lips too much um but yeah I don't know <sighs> I don't know how I feel about Jared he's such a good guy though I will be honest like he's into meditation he's into like herbal remedies he's a little bit of a hippie I love him so much but I think there's a part of Riley that has this huge, huge, huge wall built up around her. And it was actually best said uh, by a Shigabuga named Sky Chimes. And it looks like I want to say uh, Jared's not into ice skating or roller skating right now because he might be tired. Oh, no, he's coming. All right, cool. I was going to be kind of sad if he didn't want to join us. I think he's just like talking about beds like we are not sleeping together. Don't get any ideas now. He is totally OK with the fact that Riley is saving herself for marriage. True story. She don't want no damn babies until marriage. Now, that is just one of her like core family values. I hope she sticks to it. You know, she's such a wholesome goober, as Sky put it. It's just, it's cute. So let me read this comment to you while we watch uh, Riley tear up the skate rink. So, um... Sky had said, oh, because I was talking about Pablo in the last episode. She goes, oh, poor Pablo. I don't think he was ever truly like her brother. More like Riley is such a shy, independent goober that she worked too firmly keeping him in the friend zone because she knew how deep he could strike her heart and kept telling herself he's like a brother, even though he wasn't really. So he wouldn't threaten her independence. And just when he was starting to break through, her father passed away. She was out in the jungle with him, which is true. She was with Pablo when her dad died. And then he, they go on to say, just like the jungle and archaeology, he was another thing she pushed away following her dad's death. And him being a native probably didn't help. That said, as disappointed as I am that they didn't make Riley stand your feet, <laughs> they didn't make it. I look forward to seeing Riley move on. Maybe Jared will be able to break through that wall she has built up around herself. And oh my god! I was like tears. Like I was legitimately crying. Like I was seriously so sad. Hey, Jared! You're not going to break through any walls if you freaking leave me like that. I think he ended up actually, uh, what did, where did he go? He isn't here right now, which is kind of annoying. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to like pull off any tricks. Isn't that the cutest? I can actually customize the rink. I wanted to show you guys what that looked like. Now, she has to go and collect her boyfriend because he actually ended up uh, leaving her, her, leaving her. I don't know where the hell he went, though. That's kind of weird. He's right there. OK, I think he actually just went to go to the bathroom. That's totally fine. But I want to show you guys really quick the different customizable options that you have. You can actually set the effects to confetti, um, which is really cute, right? Like this would be perfect for I guess this is like summer, wait, summer and spring. So I guess I was going to say winter. I think you can do the same ones, too, for winter except they actually change i think there's something with um pine trees or something like that and then we've got snowflakes and then sparkles is another one i'm not gonna show you them all but isn't that the cutest and i think you can like layer them up or no you can pick one or the other yeah so those are the options and look at them hugging in the rain oh all right we do need to give him um some flowers we can actually give him an easter gift which is super cute now we can do let's see complain about easter ask to be be pushed on the swing i'm not seeing anything with flowers is that because i don't have any or i didn't bring any oh god okay that means i'm probably not going to complete all these traditions which is kind of annoying but i can give him an easter gift i can actually see i have a daisy but does that count as giving flowers or does it have to be like a romantic thing? I'm not really sure. But I am going to give him a decorative egg. And I, the, the, the descriptions on these eggs are honestly the freaking cutest thing I have ever seen. Something along the lines of like be jealous of my egg, which is like the dumbest thing I've ever read. It says a beautifully decorated egg. Make your friends envious. Be the talk of the town. Like, <laughs> okay. look at my golden wave. Oh, and you I, I don't know if I told you guys, but aside from looking in the bushes and looking behind the trees, you can actually look inside the toilets 
too, which is kind of weird. I don't know. I, I, I mean, if you dare. I, I'm sure there's probably some really cool collectibles down there. But um, all right. Well, we were able to give him the gift. I still don't see anything about giving him a flower. I wonder if giving like a rose counts because we're in a relationship. Give him a romantic gift. See, the thing is, it's still not showing me anything with the flower. And the only other one that I know where I can actually give a flower would be under the romantic, um, the romantic pie menu. So I'm going to embrace him really quick. I don't know. I like him so much. And she's really close to his family, but we'll have to see. And then Love Day is coming up also not that far from here. So I think not tomorrow, but the next day is Love Day. All right. So let me compliment his appearance a little bit. He is getting kind of tired. Oh, my God. We can kiss in the rain. <gasps> let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> that was super freaking romantic. Oh my god. Okay, so I think he's like, you know what? We should go. We should go get some dinner. So maybe we we can go home um with him. And we can actually attempt a mistletoe kiss too. Maybe we can go home and cook up some dinner because it is getting kind of chilly. I wanted to them to play on the swing, but maybe I'll save that uh, for another time. Honestly, all that I can think about is how she could be doing this with Pablo right now. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god, they look like they're doing like they like they look like they're enjoying each other. But I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, let's offer that rose again. Because that would constitute as giving him a flower, right? Yes! That is how you do it. You give a flower. Or give a rose. And then that that, that works as giving um, flowers. So, I don't see anything uh, about this stupid flower bunny. Which is really, really sad. You think he would be just kind of lingering around somewhere. But I don't see him. Uh, but she did complete two out of the three traditions. And we still have the whole day left so we're gonna end up taking jared back to our place and cooking up a little bit of grub so i didn't get to show you guys just yet but mike has some other suggestions for at the cabin like for instance having the bees next to the plants so that they can actually pollinate them now i'm not sure if the bees would be able to pollinate like herbs and vegetables and all that kind of stuff but i do have one of the beehives there and then i've also got one in the greenhouse where i've actually gone ahead and planted a holy bush i even planted a daisy bush and then this one I don't know what I'm gonna plant here next but I did notice that when I initially put down um, the daisy bush the bees kind of came out of their little hive and they were just like uh, clustering right around this flower so I thought that was really really cool cool thanks for the tips Mike and then also um, I did put the sprinklers a little bit closer to the, uh, the the flowers but I don't know I think maybe this works I, I'm not sure you need quite a few of these and they're not cheap like whatsoever then the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is the umbrella. So when you go out and it's raining or whatever, like right now it's cold and it's cloudy. Very, 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 very different weather than Willow Creek. Um, you can actually choose an umbrella for your Sims to put in their inventory or just to take with them. And then you can put away that umbrella and choose a new umbrella. And let me just go show you guys all of the different choices. So you can pick a black, yellow, red, blue. Um, I don't I guess this is kind of like a striped watermelon vibe um, umbrella. Then we've got this pink and gray we've got a rainbow and then we've got the one that Riley already has which is this really cute little like ladybug polka dotted one we've got this fun confetti watermelon I think these are ducks and then those are butterflies super freaking cute I love that all right, so now that we are here with Jared, let's go and light up the fire because right now it is kind of cold outside. As you guys can see, they are wearing their winter gear. So I've already accepted the fact that quite possibly Windenburg is just more of a colder area. And I'm kind of curious if the beach area by Windenburg is warmer. Like, it does it go by the region or neighborhood or is it just world? Because that would make a lot of sense to me personally. So we are getting a little hungry and it is getting late. I'm going to actually have Riley cook a grand and meal we are going to cook some ham dinner and it looks like we actually got a discount too which is kind of cool and I think this is because it is a holiday after all and ham kind of goes alongside with um, Easter I think so we'll have her go ahead and make that and here he is trying to give me yet another flower he is quite the romantic you know what my problem is I just don't think I know Jared enough but you guys really seem to know Jared and like Jared it's crazy how this has been happening lately so <sighs> we'll just give it we'll give it a little time let Riley just kind of you know maybe I don't know just deal I, I don't really have the words for it so it's kind of it's kind of frustrating <laughs> and we only have 70 simoleons too so we're definitely gonna have to like go out here and start 
harvesting a little bit. I do think that we have work tomorrow, which is kind of cool. I really am excited to see what that looks like. So there she is. She has a little ham in the oven. That does not look like ham. That looks like, wait, is that ham? Is that what a ham looks like? That looks like ribs or something. <laughs> that doesn't even look anything like ham. But then again, your girl does not cook. So I probably have no freaking idea what it is that I'm talking about. But look at her. She's over here basting, basting that ham. And I think Jared actually went to sleep. He's taking a little nap while she prepares some dinner, which I think is seriously the cutest thing. Look at how beautiful that is. Can she take a picture of this guy? Because, like, honestly. All right. Well, I'm going to see what I can do. We are going to call Jared to the grand meal. He is. Look at her. Look at her with the little bell. Oh, my God. That is the cutest thing ever especially with her little red lipstick i think jared is might sleep through this one i'm not sure let's go over here and wake him up she wants to flirt with jared okay you know what how about this i'm gonna let riley tell me how she feels because i honestly don't have a freaking clue all right let's wake him up babe come on <laughs> dinner's ready I'm, i i i didn't do all this for nothing all right let's use the restroom too really fast we're not gonna even walk. he went back to bed he doesn't even listen for beans no get up and eat your damn ham. Okay, I put a lot of effort into this, and I hope that none of us get salmonella. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. He is so exhausted. I knew he was tired, but Riley is being a super freaking pest right now. It's not even funny. I love it, and he's gonna go to the bathroom so bad. He's gonna piss himself. Oh my god, look at him. He's like, I really had to go, babe. All right, well, let's just joke about some old times. Let's enjoy his company. There's so many new interactions. I love it. He is an absolute oh, snag i don't know though i don't know i'm still a little i'm still a little on the fence i know whole episode of jen just going hmm i don't know about you but <sighs> I think it's because I really I'm in love with Pablo. I'm gonna clean up dinner too while I'm at it. Put away some of the leftovers and then, uh, so that just so that they don't spoil because that was like a lot of money. I don't know what she's she's talking about. I, I think maybe she's telling them that she's gonna go and do her rounds of harvesting and whatnot, but we'll have to see. So looks like we're all ready. Um, we're already having a little sprout on our daisy and holly bush. Let's change into our beekeeper suit so that we can um, collect the honey. And I thought she was already done, but it is like 12 o'clock at night. So she's just putting away everything in the kitchen. Um, and Hunter, I think, might need to go potty. I'm not 100% sure. But Hunter is such a well-behaved poocheroo. I love her so much. Let's ask her to uh, go potty really quick. I don't know if it's raining. It's still just really cold outside. Now I'm going to collect my honey from the honeybees. And then are these like dormant or something um it says care but why do they look so sad like they don't even look good they look really 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 like just i don't want to say it lightly but they just look really pathetic like it's it's true oh uh, we can harvest our oh wait oh wait hold on what is this cell plus super cell requires gardening skill of level eight oh my god um we can sell all of the avocados right off the tree we don't even have to harvest them uh, for $45? I don't know. I'm going to harvest the avocados from the tree first, and then I will decide, like, does that make more sense to sell them that way or the other way? But look at Riley. Look at her go. I'm actually really, really, really loving this whole, like, living off the land aspect. That is super freaking awesome. She does it very well, my dad. And I am so happy that so many of you guys love Riley and love her cabin. Like, that means so much to me because, like, when I built this home, I really wanted it to scream at Riley. Like, I really wanted it to be um, you know, something that kind of reflects her personality and whatnot. Now, I really don't think we should be doing this at this time of the night. I think our sprinkler broke. What the hell? I don't have the money to fix that. Ugh. Okay, so this is what a broken sprinkler looks like. Hmm, looks like some erectile dysfunction, if you're asking me. But that's fine. I'm just playing. Anyways, I'm going to have Riley go ahead and hit the sack because she is not in the mood to do any more of this. And it is also 1 o'clock in the manana. Bish, what the frick? Oh, my frickity flip. Okay, we will talk about Pablo in just a brief second. So many things are happening right now. Riley has been promoted to soil sifter. She will now make an additional one dollar per an hour for a grand total of 21 simoleons per an hour. She has also received the following bonuses of $300, some starter vegetables, and her next shift is on Thursday at 8 a.m., which is literally like T minus like 58 minutes. And also to address the elephante in the room, is this going to be a job that you you only have to go 
to or can you indeed work from home? And this, you guessed it, you can work from home. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Do a dance. Break it down. Get a freak in that. No, I'm just kidding. We're not getting freaky because <laughs> you already know her situation. Anyways, um, we are going to have Riley work from home today because I want to see what that looks like and Pablo. So she actually came outside to talk to him because Pablo is noticing things between Riley are getting serious, okay? And he is just having a really hard, hard, hard time accepting the fact that he may be losing his girl. Now, Pablo loves Riley with all of his heart, and he he totally heard her loud and, cl loud and clear after the death of her father. You know, Sky's right. She pushed him away. And, you know, she he kind of feels like this Jared dude is like a Band-Aid. You know, she, like a, a wall that she's built up to, you know, make her planks even higher to kind of like separate herself from Pablo because Pablo reminds her of her, her father and also the, the whole everything she left behind like Pablo is a symbol of everything um that Riley left behind and again the death of her father so it's really really hard for her to like talk to him and so she's calling him and like letting him know that he can't be he can't be calling her or like sending her those types of messages and like he just needs to chill just give her some space like we are we are friends. I love you always. But as far as a relationship goes, like, I just, I, you know, I can't, I can't entertain that right now. And, and, and Pablo just keeps yelling at her. Like, I know you care about me. I know you love me. Like, I know Jared is just like, you know, the, the, the rebound of this really messed up situation. And Riley's telling Pablo, that's not true. I actually really like this guy and his wickedly awesome freaking hair. Okay. All of it everywhere. Loves it all. Pablo doesn't believe it. But will Pablo give up? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Love days coming around the bend. We'll have to see what happens. I mean, <laughs> will it ever really end? Anyways, Jared is making himself cozy by the fire. Hunter is also enjoying the warmth of the flames. Riley is scrubbing her stinky pits. I honestly do wish there was like body hair for the females because I feel like Riley would be kind of like a girl that would let that 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 ish go. She'd be she'd be growing her winter coat, you know, every now and again. Um, I really do like this bowl, but I hate the fact that we have to keep like filling it up. So. Jared can hang out as long as he wants. I'm totally fine with that. I am actually going to prepare a little uh, a little breakfast. Uh, let's do some scrambled eggs with a bacon. I do need to get out to my garden as soon as possible because we need to purchase garden seeds. That's all that we have to do today, you guys. That is super duper easy. And it was actually raining here too, which is really beautiful. I didn't, oh, can you guys see the pond? Is it still raining? I think it is. Yeah, no, it's pouring. Oh, isn't it? Or is that just like the light? I can't see. It's not raining anymore. No, it's not. Okay, it, it totally uh, went away, which is fine. But I wanted to like show you guys the rain on the water because we haven't really got to do that yet. But anyways, it looks like Jared isn't going to stay for breakfast. He says, I should really get going now. Thank you for hanging out with me, babe. I will see you later. Oh, that sucks. That's fine. I just totally made this entire meal for you and you don't even want to you don't even want to hang out with me. Am I hungry? Not really. All right. You know what? We'll worry about eating a little bit later. I'm actually just going to put these uh, these guys in the fridge here. Where did Hunter just run out the door? Was that Hunter? It was. What is Hunter doing? She's what is she doing? Hunter, where are you going? <laughs> what the hell? Are you chasing Jared? What is she doing? Let's follow her for a second because this is very interesting. Hunter, Hunter, what the hell? What is she doing? I mean, she's all the way at the end of the driveway. I think she went to go see the ducks. Okay, you know what she does that sometimes? I don't even know why I'm freaking out, but that was just very, very odd and peculiar. Uh, we are going to, oh my God. Okay, love day starts tomorrow. Show holiday objects. What is this? A bed? Um, are you trying to give me some hints? Cause girl, I am not picking up on this. Uh, is it? Is it really? Like, why are you showing me beds? Cause I ain't trying to get down with that. Thank you. Oh, that's really cute though. Love day. It's tomorrow. Oh my god. Well, at least we have somebody to kind of spend it with, right? I mean, I guess. Let's see. What are these? That are supposed to be growing some basil bushes. All right, we're gonna purchase some seasonal seeds. Let's do that. Let's do. Oh my god, this wasn't there before. We can do the seasonal fall plants or seasonal spring plants let's do i only got how much 355 that's not much uh let's do one of each though okay and then we'll see what it is that we get is it me or is this like look at that oh my god would you look at that is it glowing if this is like some avatar crap over here i love it all right thank you for ordering your packets are in your inventory. Why do we got to poop in here? I know. Somebody's like, girl, you need to organize Riley's freaking inventory. I knew it was coming. I love you guys. I promise that I will. <laughs> 
some point in time. All right, where are my seasonal fall plants? I want to see what they are. I want to get some like new. Um, I want to get some some new uh, collectibles or harvestables or whatever. I want to I want to find those. Now I did purchase the spring plants. Oh, those are right there. Okay, Riley is just weeding. Um, I think we're just weeding the parsley right now, and it's botanist. I got it. All right, botanist. We got botanist. Ba botanist. Ba 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 ba. How many times can we say? We say it with me. Say it with me. Say it with me. I'm 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 girl. I ain't playing. Say it with me. Okay, ready? Botanist. All right. So now that you said it with me, it's official. I'll be able to say it all the time correctly 100% botanist and if I don't you can like you literally can slap me in the comments it's fine just do like a little like a asterisk or whatever it's called and just slap that's it we're good all right cool so anyway I don't think there's anything else for us to do in this episode we will check out the harvestables and all that kind of fun stuff in the next part thank you so much for watching don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and I will see you all next time bye guys Taking not a lesson learned Who'd imagined I would crash and burn But you got